Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Portal Stories Mel. Now I'd like to go back in to advanced mode, which clicking on advanced mode here is actually starting uh, a proper playthrough of the advanced mode. I'm just saying that because I'm not sure if the achievement for beating advanced mode is... It, it, I don't know if it gives it to you or not if you just select chapter 1. So that's why I'm saying that. But let's get started. I'm probably going to be skipping through most of the story stuff since we've already done that. So let's get started. Also, the loading screens for this are different, which I think is cool. Just slightly different. It, it, it usually represents the part of the story that you're up to, which is what I like about the advanced mode, really. So the advanced mode is basically the same puzzles as the the normal game but with one or two differences to make it more difficult for the brain have to think about it a bit more aperture science innovators the future of tomorrow starts today I like how this loading screen here, starting off into the actual part where everything starts being slightly different. I like how this is the newer Aperture logo, showing that time has actually passed. I just That's just such a cool way of in, like switching between those two, especially if you know what it is going into this game, so... A, Which you should, because you need Portal 2 to play this game, Hello. so... So, with this first change that has appeared is that this exit here doesn't have a second uh, portable surface on the ground here, so we can't fling ourselves out the window that way. Which is why this alternate way exists, which I'm pretty sure I covered already in a extra thing that I did. But we need to put in this orange screw on the ground here, like that. Which now, we can use that portal there, the blue one, with the orange portal. Which will allow us to actually do this the alternate way. Which is the way you have to do it in this version, so... If you figured out how to do that in the original version, good job. I like how much I know how to get through here quickly now because of having gone through this place several times already. So let's do that. I, j I can just go so fast if I just ignore all of the talking. Just all of it. Every single bit of it. I absolutely love the underground Aperture Science Innovators area. Also, if you go too fast in this area here, you can actually get hit by the thing falling. Just so that you know. <laughs> so if you're in a hurry, you'll probably get hit by that. Okay, so here we are on the first test. Let's see how we go. There's a few more things different here, though. There's a wall there. And a wall here, which we can turn off for a little bit by activating that. But there's also that there that I think we actually turned off in the other playthrough anyway, so... Also... I, I, for some reason, I have so much trouble with this one room. Ah, uh, but this is actually a lot harder now because we actually have to worry about all of the new variables. So let me just try and quickly do this again. Hang on. Jump backwards into this so I can fling myself forwards. Nope, why didn't that work? That should have worked. That's silly. Okay, well anyway. I absolutely love these tests down here. Uh, I'm actually probably going to actually do this differently. Let me just go back over this way. I don't think we can get rid of this wall here, which is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Although I think there's actually a way we can cheese this, which is probably the way you're intended to do it. By putting a blue portal there, I think if we go down here, we can actually shoot the portal through there, allowing us to actually get through. So let's jump in. So now we have the blue gel over here. Which we're just going to use 
to make this a lot easier. I feel like I had a lot of trouble last time I attempted this. And I really shouldn't have because I just need to use this blue gel. Which it gives you, so use it. Uh, but let's also cover this ground over here so we can use that. I'm going to leave that there for the moment. Let's go grab the cube, which hasn't spawned in yet. We actually need to do that. There we go. But this is on a time limit, so we need to actually be ready for this. So let's do that, and let's go. So we don't lose the portal yet. Okay, there we go. Now, I think I'm going to leave the cube here for the moment. No, I'm actually going to take this with me. Let's bounce off for this blue gel, which should take us all the way up here, which is where we need to go. So let's activate that, which gets rid of that. And now, we just need to put a blue, uh, orange portal there. And now we need to jump through with the cube. So let's do that. Slightly different, but still fairly similar to what it was. Okay, next one. Now everything about this test is lead line. According to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s... I think this is the same as before. Says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about boxes. We got a ton of packs ready for this anything. Roll that wall. Destroyed. Great to be. Use those little things. Maybe they know. Okay, second test. Let's go. This one's a little bit more complicated, I think. Yes, it is. So, let's go ahead and grab a cube. Like that. Put that there. Uh, but now, if we go over here, we can actually see that there's a wall here. That's going to make things a little bit more complicated than they were previously. So, let's try... And set this up. That's probably the way I want to set this up to start out. Let me put that portal there. This portal here. So we can set up the orange gel. Just like that. And now we can set up the blue gel stuff. Which we can also do. Uh, so that one there. But also. I think. I need to move my portal there. And get some goo going through. Like that. There we go. Just a little bit, just enough so we can get through with the cube, because we're going to need it. We can't skip stuff with it, unfortunately. Even though, if you're actually outside of this test in the beginning area, you can actually portal to the second area, but you can't actually get a second portal in a place that you can use to actually get anywhere, so it doesn't even matter. Now, I think I actually want to have the cube there, so let's do that, and let's go across here. And make our way up. Because I think if I put my blue pole up there. And go up maybe. Oh that didn't. Why? Okay. Momentum. Okay let's try that again. We portal up there. Not jumping through the portal. Just walk through the portal. I was just having a little bit of trouble with it. Which is why I tried to jump through it. But let's put that. Keep that portal there. And go over here. Because now we have the blue gel. Which we can use. To group this platform here, which is good for us. Because now... Just need to angle this correctly. Somewhat. And we're going to put the blue portal on a surface that we can reach. Like that. So now, we just need to... Actually, I think I actually want to put the portal there. Let's jump back through here. And allow us to get to this side. So we can get back. And now, we place the blue portal there. We can jump right through... Oh, but I need the cube. That's fine, we just need to use, move a few portals. Because we have the portal at the end, we can actually just go straight through, so... I'm pretty sure this puzzle is the same as before because we can get the cube across with no problems by putting a portal over there and just taking it through basically. Um, but now there's also this here. I don't think this was here before. But we can also just, you know, do it exactly the same way, so. Just need to put a portal over there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the cube. It's kind of interesting how... What's his name? 
can't remember his name already. That's a shame. Ah, uh, but it's interesting how he can lead us this far without actually telling us that he's trying to lead us towards him. Because, you know, we're just following the test and it somehow manages to lead us in the right direction that he wants us to go. Okay, test number three. This one is a little bit more challenging. There's blue gel, a, a blue gel pipe there, but there's no blue gel for this. So we need to figure out another way to get around, which is up here, using our portals. So let's do that, which now means that we have the, the cube over there. But we need to reach it now, which we can do because we can leave that blue portal there, and jump through the orange portal, like that. Let's try and stay on the upper level, like that. Cool. Ah, uh, but now we also need to go over there carefully. Very carefully. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, cube there. Right. But now we need to figure out how to get the cube over here and also keep everything working. Somewhat. Which can take a little bit of thinking, apparently. Ah, uh, so let's put an orange portal here, I guess. And I guess we should just get the cube. Right, except I also need to be able to fling myself, except I can just go out this door. That would make sense, wouldn't it? If I just go out the door, it's, you know, it's right there, so... Might as well use it. Okay, so let's put this on here. I think we have to reset our portals for this. Just a little bit. So let's put that there. Hopefully. No, wait, that's fine. I think we just need to go across again. So let's do that. We don't need to worry about the portal right now. We can lose them. So let's go to the upper level. Okay, like that. And now because we can reach through here, let's put the portal there. And jump through here. Catching that, please. Thank you. And there we go. Also, while we're here, I'd like to say how much I love the salt mines. Like, I really want a portal game or mod where... This place gets completely, like, destroyed, like, cleaned out, all of the r resources are processed, and this whole place is made into new aperture style. I would love that. Especially if they made some reference to this game where, like, they mentioned the... one of the salt mines being pumped full of goop or something like that, and referring to the old security system. That would just be super, super cool. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's get this done, which I believe is slightly different now, because of the way that this is set up, we need to actually do something different. So let's head on up, for a start, because we can't just fling ourselves into itself, we actually have to go around here like that. A little bit of parkour, I don't know. Put the blue portal there, orange portal down here, and let's go. Same stuff as normal in this area with the unused test. Okay, next test, which I think is also the same as before. The advanced mode is really uh, more different later on because. It has to get more difficult with time, I guess. But anyway, let's just try and go through here, maybe. Carefully, slowly. Slowly, slowly. There we go. Let's hit this. Get that, that. Okay, blue portal. I love going fast in portal games, which I don't really get to do because I'm, I'm usually trying to actually figure it out or... You know, just do it normally, record it, you know, normal stuff, but anyway. There are so many different ways to also just solve a test sometimes. Well, I think this area here is actually going to be different in a second. So let's jump through here. Okay, now difference. Wait a second, I'm, I'm getting some... There's an extra wall of Fizzler. Okay, so let's... Oh, hang on. Let's put the cube onto the button. 
That's coming up from portal there, portal there. Go through here again. Oh, please. Really? Okay. Something's happening. The sphere's unstable. Get out of here. Run! Okay, come on, go through. Please. Thank you. That was close. Okay, so we have this gel now. Let's undo that. Which means that we can portal across there now. Which I actually think I wasn't supposed to be doing quite yet. With this bit. So we'll come back to this, I think. What I guess I have to do then is just... Oh no, we can go through here and grab the cube now. So let's do that. Now we have the cube outside of here. So let's put that onto the button. And now we just need to go through... Blue portal, orange portal. And let's go. Man, I really want to see this place, like this whole place, in New Aperture style. It would be so, so cool. I'm not sure if some of this is different, but mo most of this is the same as the regular mode, so... It's really just the ma main tests that you have to that, uh, do differently. Are locked. Well, so it's interesting because sometimes uh, when you activate something like this before you're supposed to, it just kind of sometimes. waits for the text to, or the, the message to go first. Uh, it's so satisfying to, like, do the test so smoothly. From there. Okay, uh, this area is different. This place is massive. There's a little bit of a missing platform there. So let's figure this out and get the first pump station going. There we go, blue gel. So let's go over here and activate all this. Just cover that whole thing, hopefully. Cover all of this as well. Which we should just better put the pull up there and not have to worry about it, so let's go up. Now I think we have to be a little bit more creative here. So, where is something I can use? Because I can't just jump. I have to actually do this differently. There's no platform here. Um... I think I can get up here somewhat, but I don't think that's going to actually help me. Maybe, maybe what I need is something else entirely. No, I think I'm doing something right, but something wrong. Hang on, if I do that there, yeah, it's, it's, that, that's probably a lot harder to realize than I would have realized. The, the, the goo going into the portal is actually at an angle, which is why you can put that portal there, underneath that platform there. So that it flings at an angle to where you want it to actually be. That makes more sense. It's a very it's very confusing at first though. I always forget where I'm supposed to go when I have the orange gel. Why do I always forget? Every single time I forget where I'm actually going. Oh, up. Right, of course. That would make sense. There's, I just painted the floor there and I couldn't tell where it was. Okay. Fling! Just like that. Also, I'm pretty sure I broke this last time I came through here. Which was interesting because I pressed both of the switches. No, I didn't break it. It's just that you have to hit the switch in the middle. Which is what confused me. I didn't hit that one. And that's why I thought that I broke it. There are a lot of 2056s everywhere. Oddly enough, there is actually another change here. Oh, great. There's like, it, here. there actually are more changes than I'd realized. I'm just not really 
They're just like more spaced out than I thought they were. Uh, but anyway, let's put a portal over there. Because over here, if I can get here sooner. Also, this place is so cool, just like the collapsed areas of Aperture. Uh, but there's no way up here. Like, there's no thing to jump off here into. So we actually have to go back a bit, which is interesting. And actually, I should probably should have stayed up there, I think. Maybe? Yeah, I need to go over there, which I think I could have just pulled to from over up here. But I didn't see it, so let me just check quickly. Yeah, I can definitely see that from here, just for reference. But anyway, let's jump through here. Orange portal. And that's how you do that without the extra portal there. You basically just reuse the orange portal twice. Hey, the floor is getting quite cold here. Hey, hey, uh, over here. Also, why didn't I realize I could just go through this the first time through? Nice to finally see you. Use portals, you have them. Also, something else that's interesting is if we put Virgil over here, please. And if we go to a different room, just to, you know, explore and all that. Something that's interesting, that is, that in a minute, when it does the story stuff, it actually locks all of the doors, so you actually can't get out of any of the rooms. That's just such a cool detail. I wonder what happens if you're... In, inside of one of the doors when it, uh, the, the power goes out. Probably nothing bad, but you know. I just think it's cool that it does that extra detail. Okay, here we go. Slightly different testing track than normal. Well, let's see how we go. Because there's that now, I think. Which I don't think this was here before. Maybe it was. I don't think so, though. So we're going to need something. But also, because of how different this is, we can also go over here. And there's an extra area. With an extra cube, which has got well, probably what we need. So let's see if we can get that out of here. When we press this button, it locks the door with that. Uh, which we can probably use in a minute. But we need to do something else to get this to work. So, can't put a portal there originally, so let's head through here and to figure this out. So let me put this, oh wait, I can just do this, can't I? Yeah, there. Or, you know, there. And that. Okay, so now we're going to need probably the other cube. So let's activate that. Because I think we're going to use this to get the other cube out of its trap. Basically, because we can only get it out when the button is pressed. So let's switch the cubes around like that. Take this cube out. And now we can respawn the other cube. Pretty simple. Just need to also make sure that the cubes are in an ideal spot for each of them. On top of the white portable surface. Uh, let's head back through. Okay, so now, let's put a... No, hang on. Let's put a portal underneath one of the cubes, like that. Go over here. Open this so we can get the cube through. Okay, and now we can just do that. Which means that we can get the other cube now. Same way. And now we can put that onto there. Which means that now we just need the blue portal to get the funnel, like that. And there we go. I love how different it is, but also how the same it is. I guess the, the fact that it's the same but different is why I like it. Okay, this test. I remember having trouble with this test. So much trouble with this test. This one is the one that stumped me before. So, uh, yeah, let's figure this out. I still don't know how to do this. I've, I've even done it, and I still don't know. So let's go ahead and move ourselves over here, like that. And I think I actually want to toss this through, if possible. Nope, not like that. No, I still need to keep press press keep the thing keep the thing pressed. Hang on. 
Nope, hang on. How do I keep this pressed and also drop it out of the world? Not like that. <laughs> That's how. But it's weird because we have to get this through the portal without it actually breaking the thing. I feel like there's actually a different way you're supposed to do this. Actually, I know what it is, I think. Hopefully. So let's go over this way. Hang on. That way. Like that. Okay. So we're going to have that pressed. We don't need to be up here, I don't think. But I'm going to do it anyway because we also need to have the funnel on the other side to press the button. Otherwise, it won't work. So let's do that there. And then figure out what I've done wrong because I don't think it's going to work. Hang on. Let's go up. Move the blue portal. Maybe. No. Hang on. I'm so confused. This is why I don't like this 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 test and why I've had so much trouble with it. Okay, so. Hang on. What if, for example, toss that in there. And then we press the button. Press, press, press the button. Press the button. No, <laughs> why are you doing this to me, game? Oh, I'm stuck. I need to reset. Need the cube with me as well. But maybe if I can pull it up slightly more behind me. Like that. Oh, hang on. That's not going to work. Hang on. Maybe it will work. If I just do it like that. Okay. No, it's still not going to work. I need it to be higher up. No, hang on. I have an idea. Okay. And now, for my next trick, uh, <laughs> I, need, I need it to be more up than this at this point. Let me bring back the cube. That's the right track, though. It's very close to being correct. It's very close. Let me figure this out. That's close. That's so close. I need to be up here, but not going through. Hang on, let me try something. So we have that press the... Nope, hang on, 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 hang on. Okay, we have that go through there, press the button, right. Not quite. I'm so confused, hang on. Maybe, maybe, I'm like so close. I'm just not quite sure with one, one small thing. Okay, let's go up. Put that there. Maybe don't go through. Nope, I fell. I can't fall because that means I have to reset the portals. And it just doesn't work. Not quite, anyway. I can't not go through, so I'm going to do that. Go up. I wish I could go up more than this. Okay. Um, what if we take that off there? Maybe. I, I just want to be up a little bit more. Is that that's all I want? Is that still pressed somehow? Okay. Let's throw that across. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do that. I still don't think this is how I'm doing it right. Hang on. What's that? Am I doing something? I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? I'm not even using an entire testing element. Let's go over here. Right. So this is orange gel, which will probably help a lot. What am I doing to myself? Oh my goodness. Why did I not see this earlier? Okay, so... <laughs> we have this now, which will be helpful. Let's send ourselves across... Let's send ourselves across. I'm just going to move this to there. But now, if I go through here like that, and then go up here like this, this makes so much more sense now that I have their whole test. Why am I doing this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Why am I... My, my brain don't work sometimes to do good. So that's pressed now. So now, I put a portal there. 
and a portal there. And now we go through here. We take the cube. We go through here. Put the cube in there. And now our orange portal. It makes so much sense when you do it the correct way. Who could have foreseen? Anyway, now we just need to put the portal there and it will work. Basically. How did I not understand that for so long? How did I not see that there in the corner? I don't think this is any different. Maybe it is. Maybe they've switched something very slightly and I'm just not noticing it. But I'm pretty sure I just need to go through this normally, so... Let's drop that there. Go through quickly before they re-enable, because they do have a second before they re-enable, so that's good. Okay, so that's the portal there. Portal there. Go get the cube. Orange. Well, cow, calm down. Okay, so we need blue gel there, like that, which I guess I should also pr probably put right next to this so I can get back up if I need to. Seems like a smart choice. So now we just need to get the cube and make a running leap type thing. So let's set this up. Also, I didn't Far, I don't think there's another way to do this. Because I don't think if I do this like that, I don't think I'm going to have enough goo towards the ground to actually do it properly. So I actually think it has to be on this somehow. <laughs> For some reason. Anyway, let's get that all gooped up properly to make sure it's going to work. I do have to also jump, and it is a finicky jump, to say the least. It's a very finicky jump. Have to jump at the right time as well for it to work. Okay, orange portal there. I think I might just respawn the cube the normal way. So that will set everything up for me. And now I need to not fail this. Easy, right? Nope. And not quite. This is why we have the blue gel. Actually, I may maybe you're supposed to use the blue gel to actually propel yourself correctly through the portal. I think I need to move the portal slightly more up. Or something? Something. I can never quite understand how this test is supposed to be solved correctly. Because I keep doing it wrong, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go more up or more down at this point. More down. Well, that works. Cool. Also 2056 again. Up there. Okay, this one. This one is interesting. We have that there now. Which we can't just get rid of, so let's head on up this way, I guess. And this is also different, because now if we go over here... There's no laser. The test is impossible. It's actually up there now. But anyway. So we have to figure out how to get this to work with it being completely different. And here's where the thing needs to reach. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the cube. We need to actually angle this, I believe, somehow into the portal in such a way that it allows us to activate it from over here. So let's do it like that there. But now we'll move that out of the way. Go through here. Okay, and now we're over here. And we still need to keep... ...the laser somehow. Which I think we can do even if we mess this up. Possibly? I might be wrong about that, actually. Let me try doing... I think I need to blue portal first. Quite possibly. I feel like I do, but I might not, and I might have messed it up by doing that action. Maybe I can fix it? I don't know. It's confusing, complicated, I don't know. Hang on. Blue portal, blue portal. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Sometimes I have a stroke of genius. Not very often, though. Especially when I'm jumping into the lasers. Okay, so let's activate that, which gets rid of that. 
so now we can take this cube through. I can't believe how brilliant that move was just then. I <laughs> dropped the cube. It's fine. Uh, anyway, so now we have two cubes because this one is just for free. Free! It's crazy. Uh, so, blue portal, orange portal, we need to get that through without destroying it. That's an important thing. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna use the other cube for the minute for now. Just to make sure I don't completely end myself. Uh, blue portal, okay. And then orange portal. And then orange portal. No, that's the wrong one. I need the one up here. I missed. Oh, but that's in the wrong spot now. Okay. It usually just works fine, but anyway. There we go. Let's drop that. Put that onto there. Actually, I... No, I did the cubes in the right order for that. Because I don't want to destroy the cubes. I definitely don't want that. Okay, let's take a cube with us. And basically just do it ourselves. We don't even need to have the cubes travel separately from us. Okay, panels. Let's go. Put that there. And there we go. Okay, next one, I think, is actually different. There's a laser over there now. So let's see what else we can do. On the other side, I think, probably is a good start. So this laser activates that, which also activates this panel here, which is interesting. But let's head on over there. So let's do that. Okay. Grab cube number one. Uno cube. Put that light bridge there, I guess. Okay, let's go grab this cube. Cube, 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 cube! Cube dead. I can't believe cube died. Also, what's that on the ceiling? That's interesting. Ah, uh, but now we have this cube, so let's take this and let's redirect this laser. Which I think we actually probably want to activate, like, that or something. Or possibly... No, I can't do that, can I? Let's do that. Which I think will allow me to aim this... Like that. And now, as if by magic... Voila! Extra cube. I'm magic. Ah, uh, so let's head back over there, I guess. Take this cube with us. I think that's how I want to do this. Actually, I can probably just leave the cube here, to be honest. So let's get the light bridge, put it there. Okay, let's go up. Blue portal over there, and fling ourselves to victory. Except that we also need the cube and the laser now. <sighs> Which means we have to undo a step and also redo our next step. So let's do that there. And that there. So we can go get this cube now, which is why I left it over here. Obviously, all of this is according to plan. So let's go ahead and put this here. And actually, I might still need it, but I'm also going to go get the other cube first. So let's do that there. Not losing track of which portal goes where. Take that off of the button. Fling ourselves across. Now, blue portal. Don't forget. Also, hang on. We can also just do that. Which is very helpful, because now we can put... Blue portal, there, go through, and now the laser is in the position as well. So we just need to put this onto the other button, and there we go. Oh no, I, I fell. Same same joke I made last time, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is also different, I think. Quite possibly. Let's also just jump into here. So we can go get the first cube. I like seeing the stuff outside of the track. Also, that's the the the, the elevators. That's actually really cool. Uh, anyway, cube. Just like that. So there we need that button there to activate the exit, which I don't remember if that's the way it is normally. Guess not. Anyway, let's jump across like that. Whee! Okay. So that activates that, but I also think it reverses that. Let's go get the cube. Leave that there. No. Yes. We move that. 
for the moment. Let me grab that. Let me move this, okay. So now we have that. Let's head up here and get the second cube. Give it to me. And now, for the next bit. Uh, we need to switch cube, swap cube. Switch, swap cube. So let's do that. Let's do... Hang on, I also want to go up here, probably. So let's do that. And now, let's do... Not that. Oh, it hurts. It really hurts. I always forget which portals I need to move first. Blue portal. Orange portal. Guess I can just stand on the button here. I would prefer to not do that, though. I think I actually just have to go across and redo the first step again. Because of my mistake. Or... <laughs> nah, that's not gonna work. I need to be at the end. For that to work. Or so we can just take it through here like that. That's cool. Okay, so let's put that there. Let's put the, the portal there because I don't want it to do anything nasty in just a second. Okay, so that one there. That one there. Okay. So now we swap that one there. That one there to pull that in. And then... We put... Uh, a portal here to move that. We could actually have used the same cube, couldn't we? No, we can't. Hang on. Uh, I might have messed something up somewhere along the path. Because I need... That without breaking that. Otherwise, it's going to be very bad for me. How do I do this? There's that there, which makes me think I'm supposed to use that somehow. Which would actually make sense. That would actually make some kind of sense. So let me do... Hang on. I don't need that. I just need to move this. If I am smart. And then quickly do that so it gets pushed that way. Okay, so we can skip this entire bit over here. Just pushing it directly there from the other part of the funnel. I was just super confused at what I was supposed to do there. I just needed to not worry about the fizzler and actually just do it correctly. 